Brothel workers are putting their lives in danger to pay the bills. Janae Ryan takes you to the Mustang Ranch for continuing coverage on how they're navigating this pandemic to just make ends meet. Janae? Yeah, Shelby, these women are telling some terrifying stories tonight. Some admit to turning to illegal prostitution, and some are sharing about being raped and beaten since the Mustang Ranch shut down in March. Now, we are hiding their identity so they could freely share what they're going through with you. Thank you for calling the Mustang Ranch. Hopeful customers ask the same question every day and get the same answer. Yeah, our brothel is still temporarily closed. After eight months without clients, some working women are going broke. So it's going to force me to do it illegal, which is very, 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 very dangerous. Yeah. Lady A says she used to do that. It's so degrading. It's so scary. You just can't. I don't want to go back to that. Ever, ever, ever. Another lady says she met a Mustang Ranch regular at a hotel and he beat and choked her. And who are they going to call? They can't call the police. The madams do what they can for their 200 now not working women. Two needed saving. The man came in, ended up um, holding them both hostage in the bathroom. The phone cords, the lamp cords, gunpoint, raped, um, robbed. They say they see their ladies now walking the streets and pimps scare and chase the madams to keep them away. Lady B performs on webcam, but she says she knows workers now with pimps. That doesn't end pretty. That doesn't end nice of her. She says one disappeared while selling herself on the strip. I hope she's okay, but no one even knows where she is. Lady C also performs on webcam now. I don't want to. I hate it. She says it only pays a fraction of what she's used to, and it's scary. If they find you, they don't just find you. They find your family. So here I am putting them in a dangerous situation. Lady C strips too. One night she says she was in the VIP room and then I was laying on the floor in the um, male bathroom with half my clothes ripped off and um, I had um, blood all under my fingernails and flesh under my fingernails. So obviously I fought back. Lady D is escorting, living at the ranch. She says while it was fully shut down, she was homeless hopping strip clubs. You're traveling to a new town. Sometimes people don't know where you're going. Um, you're staying in hotels, temporary forms of housing. Um, you're surrounding yourself with people you don't know. Um, and that can be very risky. The madam say the question isn't how long can the Mustang Ranch go on like this? It's how long can these ladies? Now, and when these ladies can do their work legally at the brothel, security is constantly protecting them, and they have nonstop communication with managers. They even have secret code words and maneuvers to keep them safe, regular doctor visits, and every client goes through a background check. Now, through all of this, I did reach out to the Cupcake Girls. They offer confidential support to people people in the sex industry, and they have a base in Las Vegas and one in Portland, Oregon. Well, the founder tells me their Nevada branch saw a 150% increase in requests for help between March and August of this year from last year. And she says they've also given out 1,100% more money to help sex workers pay their bills, mostly just rented utilities. Now, the Story County Sheriff says he's not seen reports of more sex crimes or illegal sex work. The Regional Human Exploitation and Trafficking Unit, or HEAT, is made up of detectives with Reno and Sparks Police and Washoe County Sheriff's Office. This year, they arrested more people and saw more sex trafficking, encouraging or forcing prostitution, and more pimping. Detectives started dedicating themselves to this unit back in January. They say with more focus, more arrests are expected. You can find more from my visit at the Mustang Ranch on mynews4.com. Live in this studio, Janae Ryan, News 4 on your side.